We also have available errorless learning. Errorless learning is where if we have patients who have severe memory impairments, this might be a patient who has dementia, this might be a patient who has a very severe head injury, where we just want them to be able to do something like take a bus to therapy on their own independently. Or we want to make sure that they have a system, if you will, for paying their bills on their own using a checkbook. All right? What we can do for activities like that with patients that we know have memory issues that are profound or severe is errorless learning. In errorless learning, what we do is we actually take them through steps where first they just do the task where we cue them the whole time and we provide the structure. First you do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this. Then gradually we increase the length of time between I want you to do this task, I want you to look in your memory book, and I want you to tell me what your schedule is for today. And at first with errorless learning, all right, we turn to the right page, we say, what is the page? Show me what you do today. What do you do first? What do you do second? What do you do third? With errorless learning, then gradually I'll reduce the number of cues I use, and gradually I'll reduce the, increase the time. So I say, what are you, what's on your schedule today? And at first they might say, I don't know. And you say, well, how would you know? Where would you look? Oh, well, I could use my memory book. Good. Where would you look in your memory book? Oh, well, oh, I'll, oh yeah, I can go there. And then gradually you would reduce the queuing and you would have them be independent with whatever those tasks are you're going for. Airless learning is, can be used with almost any patient at almost any time with almost any task as a as a procedure to enable the person to be very successful with that task and not even have to think about it. Mm -hmm.